What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwa, and I am here today with the Illudium Q36 Space Modulator! Wait, is that- wait, hold on. What's up, people? It's your boy Jatwa here, and I am here with the Lunatic Aeronautics Rover Gravity Manipulator! That's an awful! Now, this is supposed to let you simulate how it is to drive on other uh, planetary bodies. Now, I'm here with my new rover. This is Riven Rover, and it's created strictly for this purpose of figuring out how this is going to work. So, we are going to go ahead and give this a shot. So, the last time I flew in the air, and I couldn't get down, and I screwed it all up. <laughs> These wheels are actually from, uh, Kerbal, I believe Kerbal Foundries come, uh, is where these wheels come from. These are the Rover Wheel Alpha. And I really like these wheels. I don't get to use them very much. They have excellent stability, excellent control. So we see that here, but what would these do on another planet? So we're going to go ahead and find out. All right, so currently we are on, it's not toggled. We're currently driving on Kerbin. So this is how it would be driving on Kerbin. We are going to toggle this and right, and it's going to toggle us to Moho. You see, Moho's not that bad. It has a, you see, less gravity. Our wheels are further up, and uh, it's pretty. It's still reacting pretty well. We are driving like there's no problem here. All right, so let's go ahead to another planet. How will these perform on another planet? Next up is Eve. Eve squishes us down. <laughs> is to be expected. Eve has a lot of gravity, a lot of atmosphere. It is a son of a gun when you try to escape. A lot of people lose crafts there. I've lost several there. Uh, I may still have one there. <laughs> Luckily, they're just satellites that I landed there. No curbs were lost in this current game. We're going to try another, pl another planet. Alright, what's next? Gilly. Hey, 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 Gilly has us going into the air. <laughs> There's not much on Gilly. All right, so now we need to come down some because, hey, I don't like this idea of me ooh, floating through the air like sorts. I'm pretty sure when we land, it's not going to be anything good. Next up is Kerbin, so that's not going to be extremely good. Uh, to do so let me get myself somewhere safe and try to land this <laughs> all right here we go Kerbin moon oh <laughs> wait we're still alive we're still alive <laughs> we're gonna die we're gonna die oh, oh my god I don't think I've ever landed in here that <laughs> <laughs> well, that would not be the place to land. Hey, I crashed into the gas tanks again. Thanks. Uh, Jebediah usually blew those up when he was flying that aircraft that was shooting bullets everywhere. And then you want to go and crash into our gas tanks. You son of a... All right, be right back. Well, wait, I'm on Kerbin. Well, that explains that a lot, doesn't it? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Gently falling. That I like. I like that a lot. I mean, turning's really mushy now, which is exactly how I remember driving on the moon was, which I actually had a lot of fun with. I actually was uh, doing a bit of drifting on the moon, which is really cool because it was really hard to manage to do because I had to use a combination of RCS and everything. But it let me drift a bit. And it was kind of just like a gentle slide until everything kind of crashed and, well, doomed in destruction. Da -da -da -da. Minimus. Minimus. If you, Minimus is usually everybody's either first or second stop. Uh, I really have a lot of fun on Minimus. Easy to land to, a lot of ice strips, so it's very nice. All those frozen lakes are perfect for landing and for driving your craft on. So, wow, you can tell. You can see here, there's... You can't turn very well. <laughs> uh, well, I don't remember that from Minimus, but it's pretty close. Alright, I've pretty much driven a sports car of sorts on every single planet. Uh, let's see, Duna. Well, that seems very Duna-esque. It's very close to how everything reacts on Kerbin, so I kind of like that. Alright, 
has good memories of the good red planet, but we're going to switch to Ike. And if you're thinking Ike from South Park, you're very close! Oh, uh, it's kind of... Alright. Yeah, it's kind of a remember. It's a little bit. Alright, next is Drez. Now, I like Drez. It's an interesting one to land on. I haven't been there in a while, and most of my rovers do really well there, so this one actually would do really well on Drez anyway. That, that much I remember. Alright, so this is pretty sweet. This is pretty sweet. I just learned about this one today, uh, so I happened to see it and was like, Oh my god, I gotta try that. So that's... <laughs> it is from Toreg77 and... X I M R M. If I'm mispronouncing your name, Zoom, I apologize because I have no idea how to do that. So we're going to jump to the next planet, which is Lathe. Well, that should be almost no difference because it's pretty much Kerbin, just around Jewel, which would be really awesome to have another planet. That's like having Earth around Jupiter. Uh, that would be really cool. I'd love to see that. Uh, well, don't know if that would work, but... Alright, so for the next thing, we're going to go to Veil. And we're going to actually hit Veil off of this ramp here. And see what happens. Because it should pop us up in the air a bit. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was almost bad. <laughs> Let's up to Tylo. Here's Tylo. There's not much exciting about Tylo. I remember first time landing there, I was like, yeah, Tylo! Bored. Kind of went to the next one. Alright, like I'm going to do here. Next! Bop. Tina Bop. Whoa. Yep, that's Bop. Okay. Ooh, nose down. There we go. There we go. Yep. There's their lack of gravity. That's nice. Exciting. <laughs> you want to see what it looks like from the cockpit? There you go. That's the one, one of the most fantastic things about USI and their cockpits is the ability to be able to see directly from the cockpit when you're sitting. And it's pretty much unblemished. You can see so far. It's so beautiful. Uh, you can actually zoom in and get a nice view of everything. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Something's bad. Okay. That's what was going on. All right. Next planet because that almost got me killed. Pole. Yup, there you go. It doesn't take much to get airborne there. Let's see if we can actually, um... Oh, gentle. Oh. <laughs> there we go, a little airborne, a little, a little air hop there. Alright, next planet, what's next on our list? Back to Elu. And look at that, look at that. If you don't have Kerbal Foundries, get it immediately. It is beautiful. <laughs> I love these wheels. But yeah, that's all the planets. This one is called the Lunatics Aeronautics Rover Gravity PQ36 Space Modulator Manipulator. Gravity man Lunatic Aeronautics Rover Gravity Manipulator. It works great for rovers. I tried a uh, ball of fun in. Well, ball of fun didn't work too well with it because, well, it's not working for engines. So, therefore, it's really nice to see how your rovers will drive. And it's really cool to see this one actually working. Yeah, it, it is really nice to be able to test things like this out. So, you can at least know what's going on, what your craft is going to do, and uh, exactly how you can counter it. Like this right here. I would be in a world of hurt like I am right now. Ooh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I want to see if I can get up there. Can I? Can I? 
Can I? Can I? Oh, nope. Wrong button. Nope. Nope. I'm terrible at translate. I'm terrible at translate. There we go. And get a boosh. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're kind of stuck now. <laughs> Well now, what a predicament I have found myself in. Uh, <laughs> have an EVA, bud. Yeah, let go. Well, there you go. That actually did work. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, that is the, air the Lunatic Aeronautics Rover Gravity Manipulator. Let's you do all types of things. Let's you test your craft out. Different planets. Fairly awesome. I like it a lot. Uh, gets, I give it a thumbs up. You should try out that mod. It, I mean, it uses the part that you see right here. Uh, this part right here is the actual manipulator itself. It's like point, point 0.2 as far as mass goes. So you have to keep in mind, it's going to throw off balance of some things if you're trying to do some aerodynamic things. Keep, keep it in mind if you're trying to balance out your, your lift. Uh, center of mass lift type deal. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Share this one out to your friends. And subscribe if you have not. It's your boy Jatuan and I'm out. Peace. Q36 Space Modulator. Alright, here we go. Have touchdown. We almost have touchdown. We have a touchdown. <laughs>